continuing to field questions for you, Similia. I have a student who says that he just sat the step one and barely passed. And in preparing for 2CK, he's in UWorld and his percentages are low, around 40%. We want you at least in the 60s. That's a good target range. Uh, the student uh, is asking what additional resources he should look at. And he asks about a few that are a waste of fucking time. And I'm not even going to mention them on this clip because I'm not going to give them oxygen. But I will tell you exactly what you should look at, okay, for 2CK. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram, recently created a Telegram group and channel, links are down below. Now let's start the clip. So the student uh, here has barely passed step one, is in uh, UWorld right now, getting low percentages, wants to know what he should look at uh, in terms of resources. My first point is you need to continue with UWorld, okay? We don't want you stopping questions, if at all possible. Uh, th there's going to be those of you, essentially two camps. Those of you who have already graduated med school and you're trying to knock out 2CK in three, four months, you want to match. And so you can just pound UWorld every day in mixed random mode, uh, untimed, uh, as I've talked about, tutor mode. And then there's going to be those of you who are on rotations where you're going to be knocking out subject specific, e.g. peds, ovs, and guy, etc. Now, you need to do your questions, okay? Achieving a high question load is going to... Uh, contribute significantly to a kinetic score augmentation. It's very important you knock out questions. I don't want you stopping questions. Now, the other part of your question as far as uh, what resources you should look at, and you listed a bunch that are a waste of fucking time, uh, what you do want to look at are my high-yield PDFs, okay, from my website. So, PEDS, OBS and GYN, surgery, etc. Very fucking important. All right. I derive that info from the NBMA exams. Now, in addition to UWorld, you're also going to be not just my PDFs, but you're also going to be going through the clinical mastery series forms, okay? The NBME subject specific forms uh, for IM, surge, PEDS, etc. You're going to be knocking out all those questions, all the NBME content. You really need to know that NBME content, okay? So, um, it gets complicated, as I said, because you've got some students who are on rotations where uh, we can have you knock out the UWorld questions, then do the clinical mastery series questions so you can ace your shelves, your shelves, okay? And then we've got those of you who graduate already where I want you knocking out UWorld in its entirety before you go into the clinical mastery series and the NBME subject specific questions, okay? Um, but the bottom line in short recapitulation is UWorld, my free high yield PDFs for my website, all of the clinical master series, the NBME subject specific forms, as well as NBME six through 11. And you're gonna do my audio cue bank here on the YouTube. You can uh, search by playlist, okay? So you can look at the peds, obs and guy, and et cetera. Build your 2CK that way. That's very good when you're on downtime, when you're flossing, brushing your teeth uh, at the gym, you can listen slash watch the audio cue bank here on the YouTube. You know the deal, I'm gonna continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time, that's it.